again YouTubers. So it is that time for me to sit down and do a review and I've kind of decided to change up my style of reviews as opposed to just doing a review on one single product which will happen here or there. I think that a better way and more informative way for you guys is kind of to group a good amount of products from one brand together to kind of give you my thoughts on that. Lancome does send me products here and there um, but it's just simply a situation where they send me out PR boxes. It's nothing short of that. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is the Lancome and it is the Tint Idol Ultra Cushion Liquid Cushion Compact Long Wear High Coverage Oil Free Foundation. They did send me two colors in the color 210 Buff Neutral and also 220 Buff C, so it's cool toned. So this is what the product looks like. It comes in gold packaging, black base, it does come separately. You do have to put the compact in yourself. It does come with a sponge where I also show you how I use that along with a uh, makeup brush. It swings open to the side and this is the cushion of the product and it is actually where the product comes out. I will show you a swatch of it here. You simply touch it down. You simply touch it down and then you can just get the product off and swatch it that way. To give you a difference in the color, you can see right there, this is the one that is the cool undertone, so more of a pink undertone skin, which is me. And then this one is the more neutral one here, which is the number, the 210 Buff Neutral. It is definitely way lighter, way too light for me. I will insert a clip here of how I applied it. I did try it two different ways. I tried it using a brush, which was fine, but didn't quite seem to get enough coverage. And then I also used the sponge type product that came with it. And I found that that actually, surprisingly, because I am a brush girl, was a really, really great way to apply it and gave me the most coverage. So the one side of my face over here was done almost completely with the brush, and then the side over here is done almost completely with the sponge type applicator. Um, it is a really, really nice foundation. I wore this the other day, and I did not notice any differences in the breakdown of it. It stayed great. I didn't see any oils break through. I didn't see any oxidation. It was a really nice foundation. It has a beautiful, it's almost a semi-matte finish. It's not quite satin, but it's definitely not a matte. The semi-matte type of finish more so. Uh, you can purchase this at Sephora, you can buy it at Macy's, most department stores, Nordstrom's, any of those. Anywhere you will find a Lancome counter, you will be able to find this. Lancome also sells directly through their site. On the Sephora site, it does come in 14 different shades, so there are a good amount of differences. Um, I'm finding more and more that I am definitely more cool undertoned in foundations than I ever realized. Um, give you a little bit of their description. It is an oil-free, high-coverage, long-wearing, liquid foundation in a portable cushion compact, which is all very true. What it does, an ultra-innovative cushion foundation gives you buildable full coverage and refreshing hydration that lasts. It's unique patented polar cushion technology, a custom design for long wear coverage. Unlike a sponge cushion, the ultra absorbent fiber network was specifically crafted to lock in high coverage textures. It's touch activated filter dispenses the perfect amount of formula with every application. And the result is liquid foundation with leaks without leaks or spills, which is really great. It's perfect for travel. The, perfect, the perfectly portable compact comes in a customized puff, puff applicator for a high coverage result, making it easy to use on the go makeup. An oil-free liquid foundation glides easily and comfortably onto the skin while delivering a refreshing cooling effect upon application. The result is a lightweight hydrating formula with a natural matte finish. So very, very true. Um, it, is very easy to apply. It is cooling. I didn't even realize that until I read this. As you apply it, it kind of gives you this cooling feeling, which is interesting. I just thought it was because it was wet um, and it's kind of a cool morning. I didn't think much of it. I do really like this. I like the way it wears. Um, I am going to come back later today and try and show you guys a little bit of what it looks like after a day of wear so you can kind of get an idea. But so far, I am really, really liking that foundation. The next thing I am going to talk about is the Lancome Sorlis, Sor I can't ever say that word, um, Styler Brow Styler and Source, Source, Sorcels, Source, oh gosh, why can't I ever say that word? They did send me three of them. They sent me a transparent or clear, a blonde and a brunette. They also do come in a noir color, so a black color. 
I will show you the brush. So this is the brush here, and if I believe correctly, it was developed by Lisa Eldridge. It's very interesting and different. Um, the clear one, is, the transparent one, is more of a white, but it actually dries completely clear. It has one flat side here, and then the other side is kind of, it sticks out a little bit on both edges and across the front, three almost sets of bristles, but it is very easy to really just get in and put the right amount of product on because you can brush through and it's a little plastic comb. They're fairly stable. They don't have a lot of movement to them, which actually gets you more of that hair-like look in my opinion. So uh, I will insert a clip here of how I apply it. I use the brunette on the outer edge and the brunette in the center because I don't want as dark of color in the center there. Um, and so it does come in those four colors, one of which I don't have. Um, I will show you sample swatches as well in a moment. But to give you their description, it is a brow gel co-created with Lisa Eldridge that defines, sets, and holds brows in place all day. The Styler Brow Styler Brow Styler, interesting, is a specifically designed to color the brow hair and not the skin with a hairbrush inspired applicator. Co-created with Lisa Eldridge, its applicator allows for precise application no matter your brow shape. It's formulated with rose extract for brow conditioning and care, and the gel formula coats and tames hair for beautifully groomed and fuller looking eyebrows. Available as and clear as well as natural hair shades. It's lightweight formula that delivers all day wear and natural looking finish. Now, interestingly enough, I will say as well that I uh, wore this yesterday as well just to play with it beforehand. I wanted to get a little bit of an idea of what I could talk about here. And I will say my brows did not move at all, which was pretty cool. It's kind of hard to swatch these <laughs> because of the fact that it's not supposed to stick to your skin. All right, well, I'm getting a couple little dots here for you, but it's not supposed to stick to your skin as much as to the hairs and kind of fill in. So it's kind of funny. There we go. So I have a couple little swatches here for you to take a look at. So the bottom, which you can't see, obviously, is the clear. Then you have the blonde here and then the brunette. Um, it definitely has a nice tone to it. It blends out easily. It gives you good, nice hair-like looking pieces and really sticks like it sticks and stays all day it's really really awesome product the next thing i am going to talk about is the grandiose blend bendable liquid eyeliner comes in three different colors again they did send me all three of them there is blue brown and black and i will be honest it is a really really cool packaging let me just pull one of these aside and show you. The packaging itself is a long, very similar to their Grandiose Mascara. You pull it out, it does have a very long felt-tipped applicator there, but another key part of this is the fact that this piece right here bends also. Okay, so you not only do you have a long felt tip applicator that has a lot of movement, you also have this piece here which has a lot of movement as well. And this, I will insert a clip here as well as I read you the description of what this product really works as. It is a 35 degree bendable wand that allows for easy and precise liquid liner looks. Grandiose bendable eyeliner features a bent wand that allows precise and direct application to the lash line. The wand bends at 35 degree angles and provides pivot to stable positions while applying. This angle allows for close access to the lash line while the ultra thin tip of the felt tip applicator creates a clean lock look boy i can't speak <laughs> now with an improved formula it's it uses pigment extracts for a beautiful matte effect the eyeliner formula applies smoothly dries quickly and is smudge proof and long lasting it's the perfect liner to create any eye look from effortless to artistic line on a french cat eye or go for a double line with different colored liners all right so i am going to swatch these for you and today i have on the brown one and I will tell you, I am traditionally more of a black kind of liner girl, and I am loving this brown one because it softens it slightly for the fall, but still gives you that really defined look. I also love the fact that these are dry matte. That makes a huge difference to me, guys. Sometimes when it's liquid looking, it's weird. So these are the three swatches. Obviously, the blue is at the top, black is in the middle, brown is down at the bottom. It gives you everything from a thick line down to a little bit thinner of a line, and you can go even thinner. You can see how the blue got a little bit thinner there. 
And this is amazing. Again, you can purchase it at Sephora, anywhere that Lancome is sold. It is $32. I am now going to tell you about the Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara. Now I have tried before and really liked the Grandiose Wide Angle Effect Mascara. This one is the Extreme. This one comes in a matte jar, matte black jar. It still comes with your S-shaped uh, brush with the plastic bristles. You really can kind of get down at the base and apply this. Um, I will insert a clip here as well as to how I apply it and get it on. Um, it is a mascara that leaves lashes with exceptional volume, remarkable length, and maximum lift for 24 hours. The Swan Neck Wand is the mascara of this mascara was designed to provide exceptional length, lift, and volume to all lashes. The ergonomic, ergonomic, how do you say that word? <laughs> Curve of the wand allows for precise and effortless application of every lash from root to tip. Get the same application, but even more extreme volume. The revamped high charge brush has dual bristles to load maximum formula and new color boosting polymer gives darker, blacker lashes. The long bristles provide precision and suppleness while short bristles load on the formula. Now this formula also, I will say, a lot of Lancome mascaras as you wear them throughout the day flake. This one has not done that yet on me. So we will keep trying and I will let you know today. This one is $32. Again, you can purchase it at most places that Lancome is sold. I don't know if the Extreme one is readily available yet, um, but I believe everywhere that I checked, Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom's all had it. The next thing I am going to talk about is they did send me three of these and it is the Lancome Lay Absolute Rouge Lipstick. Um, this lipstick is so cool. So let me show you how you open this. You actually hold this here and there's a button on the top you push it down and it releases and then you pull this up and twist up. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is the color number 202 Nuit and Jour. It is a sheer one. Now there are eight high shines, seven mattes, and 28 sheens or shears. Um, I will swatch this one here for you guys um, and I will read you a little bit of the description. Let me show you the swatch first. Okay, so this is the color right over here on the edge. They did send me four of these. Three others are colors that I don't particularly think I would wear. Um, I think there were two different sheens, I think it was, that I got. I think this one is a sheer one. There were two shears and two something else, I forget. I'll uh, give you a little bit of their description while I'm up showing you how I apply it. An ultra luxurious hydrating lip color with a comfortable feel and all day wear in 44 total elegant shades and three finishes, sheer, cream, and matte. Um, it features the same amazing formula, also in a sleek new click close pack. Your lips in rich satiny color with a deeply replenishing lipstick infused with moisture, moisture boosting Pro X Lane. The formula imparts high color payoff without dryness, leaving lips moist, soft, and comfortable for up to eight hours. It's enriched with antioxidant rich vitamin E to help keep lips uh, safe from environmental aggressors so that they look and feel healthier day after day. Available in an array of new from nudes to plums and bright reds. Stay true color won't feather, flake, or fade, and it is enriched with satin color complex to allow for an even deposit of color upon application. This lipstick is so smooth. It is like nothing else I have ever tried. It's really quite cool. It doesn't even need a gloss over it. It's just super smooth and has a beautiful shine. Absolutely gorgeous. If you guys know any other colors, let me know. I would love to try more colors of these. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is the Lancome Glow Subtle Silky Cream Highlighter. When I got this, I had no idea what it was. It came in a simple kind of packaging here, nothing crazy, nothing, you know, out of the way. I It twists open. I opened it up and again, I was like, ah, oh, it's pretty, but you know, what's really the main difference to it? I am obsessed with this, guys. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I will insert a clip here as I describe it and then swatch it to you. Um, but I am obsessed. This is in the color Glow Subtle Amber Lights 04. Uh, buildable cream highlighter with light diffusing particles to deliver a natural looking soft focus glow. 
The Silky Cream Highlighter gives a delicate, refined glow to skin that highlights and illuminates your natural skin tone. The highlighter allows for a vibrant, luminous color that adds a touch of radiance and can be layered for an intense glow so you can create a custom, soft focus glow without chalky or glitter-packed finish. Enriched with a unique blend of skin conditioning agents and light diffusing particles, this easy to apply cream formula melts into your skin while remaining non-greasy and non-tacky. I am obsessed. It is $30 and I want every color. This is the smoothest, creamiest, hardest to explain freaking highlighter I've ever seen. It is insane. I've never seen anything like this. Like I could throw away all my other highlighters. It is that insane. It is all I have on my cheeks. It is this swatch right here. Look at that. I put it on with a big fluffy brush and it diffuses out. Oh my gosh, it is all I have on my cheeks right now. I am in love. One, two, three, four. It comes in five colors. I need more. I have Sephora VIB is going on right now. I have to get more. If you guys have a suggestion, tell me. I don't know if I'm getting all of them or just another one of them. I am so excited about that. I love it. It just, I hate a really, really noticeable highlighter and this is just amazing. So for now, that is everything that I have on right here. I will pop in and insert a clip right after this, just kind of showing you guys how it wore throughout the day and we'll kind of go from there. All right, so check-in time. It is right now 5.30, the sun is down. I put this makeup on at about 8.30 this morning, did the review and you guys saw it probably around nine o'clock. It is now 5.30. I would say the foundation held up amazingly. I have a little bit of oil breakthrough here and kind of down on my chin, but that's where I touch my face and that's kind of normal. The mascara actually held the curl on my lashes fairly well. Like they stayed up fairly um, upright, like they didn't fall from the curl or anything like that. They stayed up well. The eyeliner is pretty much exactly the same spot it was. The highlighter I found faded just slightly, but again, that's me touching my face and things like that, I think. The lipstick wore off, but that's to be expected. Lipsticks never stay that long. But overall, I'm really impressed with all these products. I am really enjoying them, and they are all ones that I would definitely recommend. Um, all kind of different and new in their own ways, and definitely something interesting to try and give a shot to. So so that's my thoughts after a full day of wearing them. And All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of first impressions, first look slash try on with me type of video with the reviews in there a little bit, giving you first thoughts on all of these products from Lancome. If you have any questions, as always, please comment below, let me know. Definitely give it a try. These are really, really great items. Um, if I had to pick, I don't know if I could pick a couple. I am not gonna lie. These have all become fast favorites. Love, the, love every single one of them, actually. There is not one that I wouldn't repurchase so far, and it's been three or four days of trying it. So that definitely says a lot for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me tell you what else I am wearing. On my face, I have the Tarte CC Corrector Under My Eyes, the foundation you saw. I have on the Tarte um, Shape and Create Concealer, RCMA No Color Powder, Hourglass Bronzer. Um, I have on my eyes, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette with a little bit of Urban Decay, I think it's called Easy Baked. The eyeliner you saw, the brows you saw, the mascara you saw. On my lips, I have on Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Nothing But Nude with this amazing lipstick. This is a great like grab and go in your purse type of lipstick. Um, I have on a black t-shirt that is from BP at Nordstrom's. I have on, um, I don't even know, I got this at a little boutique in Cape Cod. It's a really cool kind of like vesty sweater. You can wear it two different ways. I really like it. I have on a pair of Hudson Krista jeans. I have on a pair of booties that I got at Nordstrom, which, what is this brand? It is Corys, Corys, I'm not even sure. Got them at Nordstrom. Um, I have on the Pave uh, ring. I have on my new Covet black diamond letter T. Um, I also have on the Era one that I've had for a while. I have on a long gold, um, I put different charms on a 30 inch gold chain, a uh, bunch of different charms, the one that's engravable, one with our month of when we got married, um, a new horn one, um, I really love that. 
And I, oh, I've got on my artesian cuffs and then the Arison stretch. My watch is the same, my rings are the same, my nails need to be done today. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.